for those who are new to we look up let me tell you one thing look up functionality will not entertain duplicate values now those who were using we look up earlier you know that whenever you apply a we look up and there is a duplicacy in the data it always gives you the result for the very first value in the data now how to apply a we look up on the duplicate values now technically that is not possible but we have a way we can actually create a unique field out of that how we can create it that is a trick so let's see let's have a look at the data first we have some invoice number these are few invoice numbers in front of us we need to find out the total income generated from these invoice numbers now on the next worksheet data we have a lot of invoice numbers products sales wraps region date sold price quantity and the total income now we have the duplicacy in this i have already colored these rows that you can see these invoice numbers are duplicate so and over here you can see the very first invoice is 3786 and it is coming three times and 2415 is also coming three times over here so that's a duplicacy if i apply we look up here i tell you one thing if i apply we look up here look up value will be 3786 so the very first invoice total amount total income for the very first 3786 is $600 second one is $100 and this is $400 for every case it will give us the same result which is $600 for the very first one so to avoid that we need to create a unique field that how we can create it that is a small trick now i'll say that how many times this number is coming this is what i need to find out so how we can do it this is you need to look at it very carefully if i use a count if function that we have already discussed in the previous videos if you have if you do not know about this please first check that video and then come back to this worksheet now it says range and criteria range right now i'm going to say that it is range this colon this b7 b7 to b7 only this range and comma what i need to find out is again b7 it seems very dicey and very confusing everything is b7 which is the first invoice number but think about it here if i come to this cell and if i press f4 and freeze it now think about it when i what it what it will give me it will give me that in the range b7 to b7 it is only in this cell this b7 this invoice number is coming how many times only one time this is one thing okay let me explain you clearly to you i'll close down the bracket here and i press enter this is coming only once which is fine it is actually coming only once but let me copy and paste it once down just have a look what is happening let's have a look at this now it is b7 because i have freezed only the first b7 so now it is b7 to b8 now in this b7 to b8 how many times this b8 is appearing so it will tell me what only once because this is a unique value again i let me copy and paste it down it will again tell me only one because this is coming only once again let me copy and paste it down and here you will get the clarity what i'm trying to tell you now it is showing me two because b7 to b10 it means in this range this value now it is looking at what which is b10 this value this range to this range this value is coming how many times so it will tell me that it is coming two times so now it is assigned as two i hope the logic is clear to you 
now i'll copy and paste it down till the end so just have a look the values it will show me see this one one two three whatever the number of times it is happening so now a unique value has been assigned to it isn't it one thing is left a very small thing we have also covered concatenate or ampersand function in text functions it means i need to create a concatenated value just one or two will not serve my purpose so we'll say equals to my invoice number and double quotes hyphen double quotes and this now if i press enter here is my first unique value now if i copy and paste it down it will create these unique values isn't it just have a look three seven eight is eight six is coming over here as one and here as two so it is actually a unique field is being created using this count if as well as concatenate function now this is going to be our lookup value the new lookup value what i'm going to do is i am going to select it i will copy it and i'll go over here i'll right click and i'll go over here and click on paste special and paste it as values so this is going to be our lookup value field now we are not going to concentrate on invoice number this one but this is going to be our invoice number the new invoice number now the same way now if i apply vlookup here and i pick up this lookup value and if i go over there i do not have that kind of value here so again that unique field we need to create over here also same way i am going to create it but i am going to create it in a single cell just have a look what i'm going to say is equals to this invoice number and keep in mind one thing that it should be the same one it means that formatting and everything should be same and now concatenate it with i'm going to say count if and i'll say range will be this one b5 to b5 comma again b5 the same logic we are applying over here and i'm going to freeze this b5 one by pressing f4 key and we'll close down the bracket and enter so there we go we have the first field that we have created now i'll copy it or maybe i can double click here so that i'll get the values so you can see that 24151 is coming and then for the duplicate values it is 2 3 accordingly these are coming so i think that we have got that what we were looking for right now and then we'll go back to this worksheet and there now we can comfortably apply we look up so equals to we look up look up value will not be this one as this is this has duplicacy but now it is this one comma table array will be on the next worksheet and we are going to select this and will select till the end and you can see that this this one is coming at telling me the row also and the column also so this is the first row and column number 9 so 9c so we need the values from column number 9 so i'll press control shift down arrow and i'll freeze it by pressing f4 comma it will be 9 comma 0 so i'll close down the bracket and if i press enter there we go 600 600 now i'll copy it and i'll go down by pressing shift key and down arrow key and right click paste special and i'm going to paste only the formulas because i want to keep the colors and all as it is so when i press okay see this first it is 600 then 100 then 400 and the values are different it means now we can actually apply we look up on duplicate values so i hope one of the major problem that you were facing earlier if you were using we look up so that is resolved from this video i have another example of this so i really want you to practice this the only trick that you need to learn is about this 
count if and concatenation of the value to create a unique value and then probably you can comfortably apply VLOOKUP. I hope that you are comfortable with that. Thank you.